So this weekend, I got inked up. I've had an injury on my shoulder again. Similar injury to my previous one, and um, got my physio mate once again, very kind of him, to have a look at it, and he strapped me up again. So he's advised me to take another week off. I've already had one week off, so I'm going into my second week off now, which kind of sucks. But what can I do? I have to recover before I get into it again. I've been given a few exercises to do to help recover my shoulder a bit, and hopefully it won't be too long before I'm back into it. Hello again guys. Now I've been out of action for two weeks, which was really quite hard. I've been missing my exercise, you know? I feel like I'm on holiday mode, to be honest. So this is what a little skinny runt who hasn't trained for two weeks looks like. Anyway, so yeah, I'm really excited to get back into training. It's gonna be very interesting to see uh, how I do in the exercises after taking two weeks off. Uh, obviously, I think I'm going to have a bit of strength loss with some of the exercises. My endurance probably won't be up to the same level it was either. So, let's see how it goes anyway, hey? Because this is a warm-up, just aim to keep the motion slow and controlled. Nice hold. Flags were a bit painful on my shoulder for week three, so as a result, I gave flags a miss for week four. To assist with balance, I'm bending my arms, but the correct form is with straight arms. To simplify this exercise a bit, I should have done the tucked variation. As you can see, I'm falling quite fast out of the negative. With more practice, I should be able to control this better. Yep. Unfortunately, here, elbow pain got the better of me. I'm a little bit too low on my first two back leaps and far too low on the third. It's quite clear from back leaders this month that I'm going to need to work up the strength to get the three reps per set again. I'll give myself a slap on the wrist for this, but I released the rings before the full range of motion was complete. That left arm when I'm chin up puts an extreme amount of stress on my bad shoulder.
So because I can't do one arm chin ups with my shoulder problem, I've, uh, I've decided to go with L sit chin ups, which is really good for your core and it's still engaging lats and other muscles involved in chin ups. So I'm not getting too much pain with my shoulder when I do that, so it works out quite well. Today, today's weather reflects my mood. I'm really upset. Not a very good workout. I'm a bit weak after my break off, but uh, man's got to do what a man's got to do, right? On this set of L-sit chin-ups, I'm not quite doing the full range of motion as I was still cautious of my bad shoulder. I should also be doing it more slow and controlled. I tended to be a bit more rushed on this set due to the pouring rain. Due to that shoulder injury, I could only complete weeks one and two of cross holds. Unfortunately, that shoulder injury has really crippled my strength in the front lever. Earlier on in the week, unfortunately I came down with a bad case of food poisoning, which prevented me from training some sessions during the week. So I know this month has been a bit how you going with my injury and being sick and whatnot. A few of those sessions there, I was, uh, I was trying to train quite light, but I was sweating like a gypsy with a mortgage, worrying that I was going to further injure my shoulder. Hopefully I'll be fully recovered soon, and I won't have to worry about my shoulder so much, and I'll be able to get back into regular, consistent training again. That's it for month 10. If you want to see the month 10 intro video, click that link on the left, or to see the month 11 program, the link is on the right. Train hard and stay strong. Maybe I'd look good with a tat. <laughs>